Hey YouTube, back at the old uh, mid 18th century, mid 1800s uh, park where I found a silver ring and a silver quarter uh, two days ago. I'm going to go over the other side of the park now, do a slow hunt, expect to dig a lot of trash, hopefully I'll find some more silver and stuff like that. So if I find anything good, I'll uh, be back on, alright? Hey YouTube, uh, it's been like a couple hours, I haven't found anything really except some clad. But I just took up a really interesting button. Uh, it has some kind of president or some person on the front. It looks pretty old. It's got writing on the back. I'm going to have to wait till I clean it and get home. Let's see what it is. It looks really old though. Alright. See you in a few. Hey YouTube. I just dug out a car. Very old car. It's pretty deep too, down about six inches. I don't know if I chopped the top, <laughs> but it's a chop now. It's a chop version now. But it looks pretty cool. Red. I think it might be a Tootsie. I'm not sure. I have to look. It's down there, pretty deep. I'll be back. Hey folks, I'm back. Uh, it's like a two or three hour hunt. There was a lot of stuff there, but I'm uh, very happy with this hunt today. Uh, found this great button. Uh, so I got the cover for my uh, CTX 3030. Happy with that. Uh, here's the wrap up. Got a bunch of clad. Two dollars and forty-five cents. Bunch of Lincolns. Some wheat backs. Can't really see the dates too good. Uh, one's a 1920, and one's a 1918. Uh, the other two are 1940s. Uh, I also got my first Tootsie car. As you can see, red car. I gave it a chop. Uh, it was down in some dirt, rocky dirt, and uh, I might have chopped it. I don't know, but it's customized now with a chop convertible. So that's pretty cool. First Tootsie car. <laughs> uh, all right, and also the find of the day was this. Pre-Civil War Henry Clay button, campaign button from the 1933 presidential campaign. campaign. <clears throat> uh, he was like an arch rival of Andrew Jackson. He ran for president like two, three or four times and lost. And in 1944 he lost. Uh, this is dated 1945 on the thing, but the Electoral College would have voted him in in 1945 in February, 1845 in February, so it's dated 1845. But the gold gilt is off, lost. It's really nice, it has some uh, material still attached to the shank. Scoville, super fine button. It's in nice shape. Uh, it's solid. But uh, he started the Whig Party. He didn't want the annexation of Texas. Uh, the Whig Party was a precursor to the Republican Party. So uh, I'm very happy. This is a rare button. I've been looking online. One place said uh, his campaign stuff, this button could go for three to four hundred dollars I don't know in this condition with no gold gilt but it's in great shape and I'm really happy that I found it uh, very cool 
I can imagine they probably had a campaign rally in that park or something. Someone lost it, probably. Just goes to show you that uh, that pre uh, mid 1800s park is still stuff in there. It's, uh, I think they moved a lot of dirt around and everything, so I'm not sure if uh, it'll be easy to find stuff. This was about six inches down. I'm looking for deep targets, and it's hard to find the deep targets there. Everything's two, three inches, and still a lot of bottle tops and clad and stuff. But I look for the deep targets. So, uh, very happy with this. Uh, it's very interesting. Henry Clay. He was also, uh, he joined the War Hawks. He wanted war with Britain in 1812. And, uh, very interesting. American history. Look him up. Read about him. He was very important. He was born in Virginia and moved to Kentucky. He was a legislator. And, uh, he had a very interesting life. Alright, so have a good day and happy hunting. Thank you, bye.